friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today I have a deep cleaning for you guys. So I am going to be deep cleaning a few different areas in the house. So number one area I definitely wanted to deep clean was my oven. It has been a few months since the last time I did a deep cleaning to it. So I wanted to jump on that before it got even worse. And then I did the microwave and a few other areas. So I figured I would give you guys some motivation. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's deep clean with me. So I just want to show you guys really quickly what I'm going to use to clean my shower head. So just some white vinegar and then essential oils. This is um, optional. I'm going to use eucalyptus and also lavender, a Ziploc bag, and then some type of tie. I don't have any rubber band ties, so I'm just using a hair tie. And that's everything you'll need to clean your shower. All right, friends. So I usually don't ever measure this out, but I will try to find a link to the Pinterest hack that I found this on a while back. And if I remember, I will link it down below, but I just added a little bit of vinegar and then a few drops of essential oil into a Ziploc bag. Then I use a rubber band. I just tie it around my shower head and I leave it there for a few hours. You can leave it overnight if you would like, if you want to do a deeper clean, but I usually just leave it for a few hours. And while that is sitting, I went down downstairs to clean my microwave as well as my oven they both definitely needed to be cleaned so right now i am just cleaning out my microwave and then i'm gonna go ahead and clean out my stove oh yeah it'll keep falling faster straight for disaster and quickly clean off the top of my fridge as well sometimes i throw things up here that i don't want the kids to reach and i needed to just go ahead and clean that off there was stuff up there that just did not belong up there i cleared all of it off and i just put back the wine rack and that is it i wiped it down with a microfiber cloth and also a disinfectant spray we did clean behind the fridge the previous day i did not film that because that was the only thing we had did the previous day but behind the fridge was extremely messy as well and i figured since we did behind the fridge might as well do on top of the fridge as well and now i'm moving on to the oven i did do a deep clean to my oven a few months ago but i want to do it again just because it was getting pretty dirty as you guys can see i definitely need to go ahead and do it again just because it wasn't as clean at the end as i would have liked it but definitely better than before and these are the products that you are going to need i will leave them linked down below in the description box if you guys are wanting to deep clean your oven So you can mix the baking soda with either the vinegar or some water first time i did this i just mixed it with vinegar this time i want to try it with some warm water instead of the vinegar honestly i feel like it works exactly the same whether you mix it with the vinegar or the water at the end i do end up still using vinegar to scrub down the oven so i'm still getting a good vinegar clean but like i said for this time around i want to use some warm water i'm just going to put this paste all over the oven and i'm going to let that sit there for a few hours as well i was actually leaving to go work out and run some errands so I did this early in the morning so that while I was gone for a few hours, it would be sitting in the oven. And then once I got back home, I went ahead and scrubbed down the oven. So I definitely recommend soaking your little racks in some very hot water with Dawn dish soap. The first time I did this, I did soak it in 
warm water with the dawn dish soap and this time around i just completely forgot so i just went ahead and tried to scrub it as best as possible with some soap and a scrub brush now it didn't look perfect but i was able to get a lot of the black stuff off of it but like i said i do want to do a second deep cleaning to my oven just to get it a little more cleaner but on this day i just worked with the time that i had and it's better than nothing so i just quickly scrubbed both the racks and then i went ahead and scrubbed the inside of the oven as well you guys are going to see i used two different scrub brushes so i tried to use this scrub brush that i was using now and i just didn't feel like it was scrubbing good enough so then i went back and i grabbed another scrub brush that i specifically bought to clean the oven i bought from dollar tree you guys are going to see so dollar tree has a lot of really great scrub brushes that are good to do for things like this and i think it's so affordable only for a dollar so i always buy a lot of my scrub brushes from dollar tree Lost in illusions, dreams and confusion Oh yeah Keep falling faster, straight for disaster I can lure the volume These voices inside my head Like every time I try to face these demons I get consumed instead You think by now I don't know somehow Gotten used to being underwater But when you've been running for so long You start to wonder why you weak Now that I am done scrubbing down the racks i added a little bit of vinegar in to this little tupperware container and i'm just gonna dip the scrub brush and then scrub the oven but like i said i used this particular scrub brush for a little bit that i felt like it wasn't really doing much so then i went and grabbed the second scrub brush i just didn't know which one was going to work best on the oven i don't remember what i used the last time i deep cleaned the oven but these are the two things i picked up from dollar tree to scrub the oven and i felt like this one worked better for the oven i honestly think this is a toilet scrubber i'm not 100 percent sure i'm pretty sure it's like a toilet scrubber but i had just bought it from dollar tree because i felt like the bristles were pretty good and i thought it would do a good job scrubbing the oven you, but it's time for you to make your move 30 seconds in you hit rock bottom now you got nothing left to lose you think by now i'd learn somehow you certainly shouldn't touch yourself this is your moment can you see I was done scrubbing down the oven I went ahead and I used a microfiber cloth first I just wiped it down with some warm water and then I dipped it in some of the vinegar just to get it a little bit more shiny and then wiped down the entire oven again you guys are going to see at the end there are a few corners that still have some black spots and that is why I want to go in the second time to clean it just because i feel like if i do it one more time then it'll definitely look much better but like i said a million times before it definitely looked better than the before when i first started so i'm happy with it i'll just like i said have to go back and scrub it down to make myself happy with the results <music> 
So now that the oven is complete, I decided to go ahead and clean out my cleaning cabinet and also the cabinet that is underneath the island just because there was so much random stuff. As you guys can see, there was so much stuff just thrown in there. There was a ton of crumbs from the toaster that we store under there. So definitely wanted to cross this off the list. It was driving me crazy. I think I might get some type of liner for the cleaning cabinet right here. Maybe next time I go to Dollar Tree, I will look for some just so I can put it in there and it'll be easier for when I do a wipe down or anytime anything spills but for now this will do i just went ahead and organized and wiped it down i got rid of a few things that were either empty or i just never used just because it was taking up space and i wanted to make more room in this cabinet I also wanted to quickly sweep up the kitchen from cleaning the oven and also the cabinets. There were crumbs and a bunch of like baking soda all over the floor. So I wanted to make sure that I swept all that up. Last thing I wanted to do was the kids' bathroom cabinets and drawers. So this drawer and also underneath the cabinet was very unorganized. This drawer right here where I keep their washcloths was fine. I just needed to refold those washcloths. But underneath here and also the first drawer I showed you guys, I just wanted to quickly organize and wipe it down. When the sun goes down Like a lightning bolt We will make
And now this was the end of the day and I went ahead and took off that bag of vinegar and essential oil and then I wiped down the head of my shower with just a washcloth and then I let it run with some really warm water to make sure all the vinegar was out. All right, you guys, so I tried my best. I'm going to have to do round two and scrub it down more just because as you guys can see, there's still a lot of dark spots all throughout there. And then in the corner over there and over there, I scrubbed for so long and I could not get it out. So for now, this will just have to do. And I think I'm going to do the paste again and then keep it soaking in there overnight. And then maybe I'll have better luck, but for now, this is how it looks. So this is how the first cabinet looks like. So I usually have the mail in a basket right there, but I kept it out because me and my husband have to go through it and see what needs to be thrown out. So that's not there, but it's usually here in the corner. Over here is a bunch of like holiday bowls and plates. And then over here are my two flower vases. And then these are just like party stuff. So there's are like dipping bowls and like chip bowls, popcorn, stuff to keep drinks nice and cool. So I kept all that in that corner. Up here is extra stuff that we barely use. So that is to make homemade pasta. This is an extra oven rack. Um, up here is like a few graters that I have. And then over here is some extra pans that don't fit in or underneath the oven. This one's like heart shaped and then this one's kind of like a loaf one. And then in this box is just some extra silverware. So that is how it all looks. I don't know, I might line the bottom with something. I'm not 100% sure, but for now, this will do. And this is the cleaning cabinet. So up front, I try to keep everything that I use mostly. So like this is the antibacterial soap or not soap spray that I use on the counters. And then just a bunch of other stuff that I use um, pretty much daily. I need to get a new caddy because this one's really old. It's cracked in a bunch of places and dirty, but for now I'm gonna keep it until I get a new one. And then up here are stuff that I don't use as often. So there's some magic eraser, some refill for dusters, stainless steel cleaner, and then just some like carpet cleaner and stuff like that. So that's how that one looks like. Again, none of this looks perfect. I want to definitely line this cabinet just because I feel like it gets really, really dirty really quickly from all like the cleaning stuff spilling. So if I have a liner in it, I think it'll look a little better. So. I'll probably go to Dollar Tree soon and see if I can find a cute one and then maybe some more organizing bins so this can look a little more organized. I don't have organizing bins for in here. So for now, I just kind of threw everything in there. All right, guys, so for this drawer, here's Ryan's brush and then we have some nail clippers in the back and some travel toothpaste all the way in the back. These are just extra toothbrushes and then they're flossers. In this drawer, all I had to do was refold those um, washcloths of theirs and then under here in the cabinet, this is how it looks. So over there in the corner is their hair stuff. And then this basket is usually full of like bath toys, but I got rid of all their bath toys because they need new ones. It was, they were so like dirty and nasty. So that's where I usually keep all their bath toys. And then in here is extra bath stuff. So that's Madison's oatmeal bath. So that's how this cabinet looks like. I need to get some more organizing bins. So I need to run out to Target or um, Dollar Tree so I can get an organizing bin for that. And then I want to get some organizers for in here as well. All right guys, so that is going to end my deep cleaning video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some motivation from it. I do have another cleaning video that will be up on Wednesday. So look out for that video as well. I've been trying my very best to pre-film a lot just because the kids will be starting virtual school soon in a few weeks. And I know once that starts, it's gonna be really hard for me to film and do homeschool and therapy and a new puppy, I just feel like I'm going to have my hands very full. So I'm trying to pre-film a lot. So if you guys have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below so I can write it down and then try to pre-film it and then have those ready to go for you guys. But as always, I love you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. If you have not already, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. Also turn on your notification bell so anytime I do upload a new video, you'll be notified that I have uploaded. Love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.